Welcome Capricorn. Um, this is the love reading for month of December. This is the general reading. So I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, new love is coming in Capricorn. Um, definitely new love is here. A new person has um, a, um, string your um, romantic um, feelings. So definitely new love is here. A lot of communication, a lot of text message um, is going to be here in this month. Um, someone is returning in your life. Uh, a whole lot of communication. So you're, this is, this is, this is beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. So what is happening is that a lot of you are going to be um, on the telephone. You are going to be communicating. Um, but you're like protecting yourself from love also. So. Um, yeah, definitely protecting yourself from love. So, um, love is going to be hitting you in the face, whether or not you were looking for love or not. And it's going to be very confrontated because you're going to be wondering, um, wow okay i never saw this coming i shall be aware of that now in the first week i see a lot of you are trying to work on your relationship for some of you um you're open um to work on your relationship you're just letting it go um you're just going with the flow whatever is happening and transpiring um, you just try and uh, ease through this month. It's like <laughs> you're not really complaining, but ever goes. Uh, that's how you Capricorns are looking at it. Mm, whatever goes, I'm not really complaining. Yeah. So as we notice here, a lot of you are dealing... Um, You know, your partner, your husband, um, could be taking you away if you can um, go away. They're offering to take you away for a week or so. And you can see this energy. Okay. So some of you could be um, going away for vacation, um, maybe for Christmas or New Year's, uh, you could be going to another city, another place. Uh, so like unexpectedly, this could be happening. Okay. Some of you, if you're in a relationship with a Leo, I see an end is coming up to this relationship. I see some of you are going to decide to end this relationship. Um, just abruptly in this relationship. It's as if some of you said, I'm not going, um, I'm doing this before Christmas because I'm not, and I'm doing it before my birthday because I don't want to deal with this person anymore. Um, I want to make sure that this person is aware that I'm over this all and I don't want to deal with it anymore. And I think you, you are going to be making a stand and I don't move out or ask them to move out. However, this is going to be happening and transpiring. But I see you're, you're taking a stand, you're making a stand and you're letting them know, you know, this is like time, um, this, this is ended. I no longer want to move forward, okay? In the second week, some sort of a secret came out or is going to be coming out. Um, I think that some of you were aware um, 
of this Leo and what he was doing. And I think you, you listen to your intuition and your intuition has guided you. So whatever information that is coming out in the second week, take it um, and just move forward. Okay, because you're making the right decision. So a lot of you, some sort of information is going to be coming in the second week. Some sort of information that you were not aware of. And if you're in a relationship with a scorpion, you're going to be surprised at some sort of information that came out. Um, and uh, um, I see you're going to be receiving some sort of information, secrecy, um, what a, a Leo tried to do against you. So be aware of this. Truth is going to be revealed. Um, secrecy is coming out about your partner. Um, your partner could have uh, connected with a a cancer person, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person. So, you know, be aware and align because what we're seeing is that a lot of you are going to be finding out about some sort of a secret affair if you're in a relationship with a Aries, um, the secrecy of an Aries um, and a Pisces cancer or scorpion woman. So a lot of you... Um, if you're in or married to this Aries, you will hear um, that they had an affair. If you are in a marriage or is connected to this Pisces Cancer Scorpion woman, you will hear of an affair that they had. So a whole lot of stuff is going to be coming up. Um, in the fourth week, in the third week... I see a lot of you um, are thinking about divorcing an Aries or a Leo because um, there is nothing more there to, and you want to move on. You want to let go of this relationship, this issue, okay? You're thinking about separation, divorce. It is good. Um, you have found someone new and you're moving further, okay? So this is wonderful for you, Pisces, because uh, for you, um, Capricorn, um, because um, it doesn't make any sense anymore with this fire sign person. It's as if uh, um, the universe is really showing you that, hey, it's time to move on and leave this person behind because this person... Um, you know, has created so much issues. So if you notice, uh, here you're thinking about separation and divorce, okay? Um, and there you have your eyes on someone else or there is someone else who have attracted you this new love and you want to move forward. A lot of you just want to leave this relationship and the situation behind and you want to move forward. Um, a lot of situation you're going to be finding out. Uh, um, some of you were in a relationship with a um a Libran. Um, you're going to be finding out some sort of information with about a Libran and a a Libran and a Scorpion that the relationship is over. So, if you were in a relationship. Uh, um, or maybe this is your friend or close friend and their partner or husband. You're going to be hearing that this relationship is ended. So a Libran together with a Scorpion, the relationship has come to an end. And... Is it your son? How is this affecting you? It can be coming up as your your girlfriend, your son. But whatever is transpiring is that uh, it is over. So when we look in your foundation, I see a lot of communication. A lot of you um, are receiving some sort of a communication. A lot of you um, 
could be falling in love with a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman. Um, and I see a lot of communication. I see you could be going away with this person on a weekend or showing this person off. But there is a lot of communication that is happening and transpiring. Um, a lot of you wants to leave a Scorpion woman and just move forward. It's as if... Uh, um, will she ever get it? You know, a lot of you is like, will she ever get it? You know, there's more to life. And a lot of you, a lot of you are thinking about let go of the scorpion woman. Whatever is happening and transpiring, just let go. Because um, what we're saying is that... um. You need to just move forward. A lot of you are going to be need to stand your ground against an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person that is trying to pull your strings. Okay, whoever this person is a friend, but this person wants to be more than just a friend and you have to tell this person um you know it's not viable and it's a it's not the right thing to do and it's just not viable because of uh, whatever this friendship is all about uh, um you're not looking for a relationship you know it's good as being friends and i think that that is that is going to be much better A lot of you are going to be finding out that there was um, some sort of a collaboration, secret collaboration um, that has transpired. In your relationship, it's as if there are people who collaborate and speak over your relationship. And you're going to be finding this out. Whoever that is in a relationship with a Libran, I see you want to move forward. Um, people who are in relationship where there's divorce, um, this is like, it's going to be ending. And uh, you're going to be finally be released and you're going to be moving forward. So um, some of you is going to find love directly. And some of you just want to move forward, leaving a relationship behind, um, leaving some sort of a situation that was transpiring behind and just moving forward. And I think that this is going to be much better for a lot of you. So if you notice, there is some sort of a secret that is going to be coming out that people kind of collaborated and work against you and your relationship or your marriages. A lot of you are going to be finding out a whole lot of information and secrets about this man. And this man is an Aries or some of you um, could be married to a businessman or a high professional man, but you're going to be finding out things that you were not aware of. Things that was going on behind your back. And it says, if some of you are going to be thinking, okay, you know, people need to have secrets, but this, um, this, 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 um, this changed the whole game. Uh, and this is what is showing up. A lot of people are thinking, whoa, this changed the whole game. So I see a lot of you are going to be in, in a relationship um, with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person. You're going to just end the relationship. I see you realize that, you know, it's good. Let, let's just leave this behind. Um... Let's move forward. 
And I think you'll be making like the right decision. Just, just leaving things how they are and just move on. This person who is coming in, there's a lot of communication between you and this person. Um, a lot of you are, are you know, um, opening up and getting to know this person before you jump in, um, you know, anything. And this is, this is the right thing to do. Okay, this is the right thing to do. So this is um, absolutely wonderful. Um, so take your time, talk to this person, just take your time, um, and get to know each other, Capricorns, it's going to be okay. Um, information is going to be coming out, but you're like going to be like, it's okay, all right, prima, okay. I know where I am in this relationship, that sort of a thing. So just hold on to that. I got to go. Namaste. Tauruses, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Alrighty, Tauruses. Let's go in and check to see what's happening for you guys. So, this is the love reading. Um... General love reading for you, Tauruses. Let's align our energies and check out what is coming out for you, Tauruses. So, Tauruses, I see um, an engagement is coming up. So, a lot of you could be planning on getting engaged. This is going to be good. I see some of you are realizing that it's time to tie the knot. And this is going to be good for you, Tauruses. So whatever is happening and transpiring, it's, it's, it's as if it's time for you um, to make the next move and tie the knot. Okay, so whatever is happening and transpiring engagements is in the works for a lot of you, Tauruses. Um, so be aware of this. Um, it is wonderful because it's as if some of you, Taurus, realize uh, um, it is really time for me to make the next move. Um, it feels good. This is where I want to be. This is a person I want to be with in my life. So, um, some of you are going to be deciding, um, uh, to put the last, uh, the last um dot on the paper the last ink on the paper um this is a situation where some of you are deciding to end uh, some sort of a marriage okay so it's as if you're ending a marriage or a relationship this is in the foundation of your reading tauruses so be aware of this that some sort of an ending could be coming up where you're choosing to end some sort of an issue, um, end some sort of a um, relationship that has been dragged out for quite some time. And this is in uh, the basis of your reading. So we see that some of you are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. They're not showing up who they are. And a lot of you, this person is uh, moving on. This person wants a new start. This person has... Uh, been seeing other people so you Tauruses are going to be finding this out that whoever the Pisces Cancer Scorpion person is uh, um, wants to move on and already find new love and I think that this is why some of you are um, deciding to you know end this relationship letting it go um, because you realize that this person of already multiple partners or have been um, seeing multiple people you can see this that this person have turned their backs on you and is moving forward and is finding new love so a lot of you Taurus is, is going to be accepting that and letting it go then we see some of you um, dealing with um, uh, someone who have invaded your relationship and uh, what is transpiring here is that uh, I see that some of you Tauruses are fighting 
to keep some sort of a bond going but there is so much secrets that is going to be coming out about you and this relationship or you and this uh, um, marriage that you're fighting to keep the ban and keeping this relationship alive but you're going to be start questioning yourself in this timeline to say whether or not it is viable you know is that viable is that uh, how it should be is that um, the direction I should be moving in because it's as if some of you are realizing how important it is for you to let go and let go of a situation that is no longer working for you. So a lot of you who are dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person, you're going to be realizing that this person has been seeing other people um, and uh, um, this person has been... Um, some of you, this person was married um, to a very wealthy person, but it's as if they are getting out of their marriage and um, or getting out of a relationship. So whoever this person is, it's as if um, they are ending a marriage or relationship they were in and they want to move towards some of you. OK, so it depends on what is transpiring. For some of you, this person, you realize that there is no um, moving forward with this person because you realize that this person has already made up their mind about some sort of a issue, some sort of a situation that was going on. They already make up their mind and they are, um, they've really moved on. Let's say it like that. And I see that you Tauruses are going to be just accepting the situation and letting it go. So that you yourself can be ill and you yourself can look for new love. A lot of you are turning your back on a businessman, whoever this businessman is. Um, it could be a situation where some of you are dealing with the uh, Aries and a Leo and you're turning your back on this person. You decide to let this person go because it's not working out. So um, it's coming up as a man. Um, so it could be a businessman, an Aries or a Leo businessman, and you're re realizing that this relationship has not served the purpose and you have been trying to hold the bond of this relationship for a very long time, but you're realizing that you're losing um, your sense of purpose in this relationship and you are deciding to move forward and in this relationship or in this marriage. So you can see the situation that is happening and transpiring. So um, there could be legal complication for some of you Tauruses because uh, you're trying to release yourself um, from a Leo or an Aries, but there is going to be some sort of a legal complication that you're dealing with. So be aware of that. Then we are looking at the energy of the cups. The energy of the caps is new love is coming in and a lot of you could be having some sort of a new suitor. A lot of you are have turned your back on some sort of a conflict or some sort of a um, relationship that some information came out, some sort of a secrecy in a relationship um, came out. And what you're trying to do now is to resolve it by letting it go. And it is good for you to understand it is time to let go of this relationship because it's not serving any purpose. So I see a lot of you realize that it's better for you to look for a new love. And this is going to be uh, more viable for some of you because you have been trying to hold this relationship together for a long time but you realize that it's it's falling apart you know you can try everything everything in the book you have to um tried and you're realizing um yeah this is um this is falling apart so let me let it go and uh, just uh, look for a new love okay someone who is going to love me um someone who is looking for true love and i see that this is where you are um, in the process of you regaining some sort of a stability. Information is going to be coming out that, uh, um, and a lot of you are going to be finding out that people had their eyes on you. People like uh, 
um, what they see. People wants to be in your corner. So a lot of you Tauruses is going to be um, aware that, yeah, um, you have been trying to hold the ring and hold the bonds, but it's not happening. So um, there are multiple fishes in the sea. I'm going to be um, looking for someone else. And I see a lot of you who are already having relationships or already in relationships or you're going to be um, pulling the knot and tying the knot, to raising the bar in this relationship and it's going to be gone. So there is a lot that is going on when it comes up to love. For, for you Tauruses, there is a, um, a whole lot that has been transpiring because uh, a lot of you are going to ha um, have a secret love. A lot of you Tauruses are having a whole lot of secret uh, uh, love and secret affairs. And I see that some of you are going to be releasing uh, some of these people and choose one person. And that's where the energy of engagement comes up because you Tauruses are going to really decide to settle down. It's as if you I have been seeing these multiple partners for quite some time. And you are going to be um, choosing to settle down. A lot of you are going to be finding out some sort of a secrecy about a scorpion. Whoever the scorpion is, um, you could be engaged to this person or this person is engaged to someone else. But I see some sort of an information is going to be coming out about this person. So um, be ready um, to realize that uh, um, some of you that you're going to be finding out something about uh, you could have been in a relationship with this person um, or you could be engaged to this person and I see you're going to be finding out something that you're going to be wondering whether or not you should take this to another level. A lot of you that was in multiple relationship or multiple partnership partners um, you're going to be ending that and choose one person and keep it going with that person. A lot of you are going to be moving away from a Leo and an Aries man. It's going to cause a lot of legal complication, but it's okay. Um, because you realize that it's, it doesn't make any sense uh, holding on or staying in this relationship anymore. However, that is, uh, um, marry or in a relationship with a cancer a pisces cancer or a scorpion i see that you're going to be ending this because you realize uh, um this person wants to move on and you feel as if you're blocking this person um you will always love this person but you think that it's um time to let it go let it go and uh, just move on a lot of you bonds that you had with a leo you're going to be breaking them because you found out that this Leo has had many secrets and was keeping a lot of secrets from you. Um, you no longer want to um, create any bond or um, connection. I see you're going to be cutting this person loose and just letting, just realizing that it is time. It's as if you have been holding on for too long and it's about letting go and you're going to be realizing it is time for me to let go of this relationship and i see you're going to be making that decision in this month of december okay so there is nothing wrong with that sometimes we hold on to fast on a person or a relationship and you're realizing that this situation doesn't serve you anymore and i see that you're going to be really finally um um, put in the punt or the dot on this. You're going to be very, very happy. Whoever is getting engaged in this period, you're going to be very, very happy. I see um, you're not going to have a huge wedding um, because of the culvert and all of this. It's only going to be close friends. But I'm seeing this happening between now and three years. Um, a lot of people have been waiting, um, getting married secretly, and then it's going to be waiting for another couple of years for other people to know about this. And I see this is what you are going to be doing. So it is um, 
it is a situation where a lot of you are going to be um, realizing and seeing what is happening and transpiring and um, connecting um, with yourself and understanding what relationships is all about. How is it I make certain decision in my life? What has gone wrong in most of my relationships? So I see this is going to be a really positive time for a whole lot of you because you're you're changing the way you look at life and relationships. So that is good. So um, remember um, to always, if you're looking at uh, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion woman or these five sign people, um, use the link below their videos in order to choose if it's an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Okay. I got to go. Nice. Welcome, Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Oh, righty, Virgos. Let's see what's coming up. Heart to heart conversation, Virgos. Ooh, Virgos. A lot of you need to have some sort of a heart to heart conversation. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you, Virgos, um, need to really be honest with someone, whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring. It's as if this person is not getting it. Um, and you need to have an honest discussion with this person. Some of you are dealing with a Aries and some of you are dealing with a Sagittarian. And I see it is time for you to really open up yourself and really speak to this person and let this person know what you have been feeling and what you have been going through. Some of you feel as if you are being stalked by this person and you want to in this relationship some of you could have had some sort of a one night stand with this person this person just keep on coming back coming back and you virgos need to um speak to this person from a heart uh, space and let this person know exactly what is happening and what is transpiring so um let's see what is happening a lot of you are going to be um moving forward turning your back on a leo person um, a lot of you are going to be finding out a whole lot of secrets about a Leo that you were in a relationship with. And you Virgos are going to be realizing how this person has kept you in a loop. Um, and you are going to be making the decision to walk away uh, from this person because and you're going to be really speaking to this person and said, listen, you know, things was not... Um, you are not open um, to me in the beginning because you can see um, that you're turning your back well, um, to this um, um, person because there's so much secrets that came out about this person. So you could be married to this Leo and you found out that this Leo had been having some sort of an affair. There is a, a third party in your marriage or your relationship. And I see information came out about this. And I see you're really having a heart to heart with this person and said, listen, um, obviously, um, you have not found what you were looking for in our relationship and our connection. And you have found it somewhere else. And it is time for you to release me out of this marriage, out of this relationship, so I can find also love for myself. And I think... Um, speak to that person just from a heart space exactly what you're feeling without conflicts and non-judgment because as you do that you're going to be um, settling the score and just taking back your life and making changes because it's as if some of you are going to be seeing um, or finding out or receiving some sort of a picture um, that your partner this Leo has been seeing someone else and has been creating a whole lot of uh, issues and problems and they're going to be finding out uh, you're going to be finding out that whoever is in a relationship uh, um whether or not you're married or you were just seeing this person that this person has been seeing other people and i see you're going to be making the decision um, because it's as if some of you have already found out and take the time to think about it and realize that you want out, okay? Um, a lot of you have been trying to hold a relationship or a marriage together and I see you're doing everything on in your power um, to um, make sure that this marriage or this relationship doesn't end. So I see a lot of you 
trying to fight to, to keep a marriage or a relationship live by surprising your partner and uh, making Christmas wonderful because it's as if uh, um, you have these feelings as if, if I don't do that, I might lose this person. And I see you, Virgo, are throwing everything out of the hat in order um, to get this person and hold this person in your life. Uh, so what we see is that you're trying to bring back some sort of a stability where your relationship has gone array and you're trying to recreate um, happy moments or bring back the happy moments. And this could happen just because of overwork or uh, too much work or just fully thinking about work or just so it's not as if uh, some of you we're just um just never have any time to spend with your partner because you are always on the go and i see in this month you're going to be bringing back that love and affection um in your relationship in order to accelerate and bring balance in your world and this is going to be good so whatever um that was happening and transpiring i see you're going to be revamping your relationship it doesn't really matter with who you're in a relationship with you're going to be trying to revamp this relationship in order to keep get back the balance and um re you know helping yourself to understand what was happening what was transpiring in order for you to facilitate for yourself uh, some sort of a positive uh, um, situation in your world. So this is going to be wonderful. There is no question about it. A lot of you um, who are in a relationship with an Aries or with a Sagittarian, I see you're going to be finding out a whole lot of secrets about this person. Some of you are going to be leaving um, these five sign people and go towards a Pisces cancer or scorpion person. I see this is the person that a lot of you Virgos are going to be um, showing your love or um, sharing your love with. So a lot of you are going to be um, meeting someone new or maybe this person you already um, know this person and I see that is the person that you're going to be moving towards a um, Pisces cancer or a scorpion person. So it is as if some of you Virgos are realizing I have been um, clearing some sort of a karmatic relationship, karmatic issues um, with uh, um, these fire sign people. And, you know, I, it could have been some sort of a, a karma from past lifetime. This is why I had connected because um, Virgos and Leos always go together, but it's not a good match. Um, and even the, their cops people, um, it can happen. But I see a lot of Virgos are, always go with Leos people and it's, it's really not a good match. So in the first week, I see a lot of you are thinking, I've had enough. I can't keep this uh, marriage going or this relationship going or this connection going um it is better for me to end this and move forward um some of you are going to be ending it and moving directly um towards a um pisces cancer or a scorpion person or a cancer pisces and a scorpion person so i see this is where you're going to be like a uh, Moving forward, ending whatever relationships you have with fire sign people is as if you realize that it's too complicated. There is too much complicated complication um, between you and this person. And you're going to be like letting this go and moving forward with a water sign person. I see you have uh, your heart is open to this water sign person. Then in the second week, I see um, a lot of you have some sort of a bond that you create it's as if you have been seeing someone um you know one time per month once per every three months and um you are you've been seeing this person for quite some time and you're trying to create a bond between you and this person to see if uh, 
um, there is a future with this person. So I see this, this is going to be coming up for a lot of you. Um, and you're really trying to find out uh, where this person is coming from. What is their, how do they look at life? Where are they coming from and how they are going to be um, affecting you and how your world is going to be changing moving forward in the future and that's what is going to be happening and transpiring so um, that is really good then we see um, in the third week a lot of you are ending a relationship with a um, with a Leo man a lot of you are ending a relationship with a Leo man because a whole lot of information came out about a Leo man and a Scorpion woman and you are ending this relationship it's as if um, this man was um, your partner long-term partner or husband and you realize that this person this person is a businessman but this person has had multiple relationships through the marriage or through the connection with you. And I think that this is when you're finally going to let this person know, I've had enough. I've had enough. Um, um, you know, I'm changing my life. I'm learning to love myself more. I've had enough. Um, you know, it's good. It's fine. I will let go of this and you can move forward with whoever you want to move forward with. But my life as how I see it and feel it I have enough of, of what has been dished out to me because I don't deserve this you know I've given you everything I've given you my heart mind and soul and you have just walked over me and I see that a lot of you Virgos are going to be taking back your powers from this fire sign person and it's saying it's good it's okay um Life is full of surprises, but for this lifetime, I want to be open and have the time to be open so that if anything is happening and transpiring, I can meet the love of my life at some stage, because obviously you're not the love of my life. So um, these are just like a serious, serious, it's, a, it's like you earth people are looking at relationships in a different, different uh, um, way a different different manner and um, that's how you're looking at relationships in your life because you're realizing hey I gotta make the changes for myself and I gotta understand and, and make the changes for myself moving forward because this is going to be very important for myself to make these changes in the correct way and I see that now you're understanding that whoever this person is and was uh, in your life that has been seen these multiple other people you don't need to be in that you are going to be loving yourself taking the time off loving yourself until the next person comes in so this is a wonderful alignment of energies for some of you Virgos because you're going to be realizing that you need to end um, a situation that has been going on because you realize that you're you're caught up in um, 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 as a number in a relationship and I think some of you don't want to be a number and don't want to share your partner anymore and don't think that you're deserving of just being a number in a relationship and I see that this is where you're going to be pulling away and taking back your power and empowering yourself by learning to love yourself and ask the universe and the angels of love to send in that person for you the last week, some sort of information comes out um, and this information um, have some sort of a legal boundaries because it is as if some of you who were in a relationship with a Libran is going to be finding out that this Libran had a lot of secrets and whatever this secrets for this Libran is and whatever the secrets that this Libran old a lot of you are going to be like, wow, okay. Um, however, this is happening and transpiring, I don't want to be a part of this. So I see you're going to be letting go of a Libran. 
Um, some of you are dealing with a scorpion woman, whoever this scorpion woman is and whatever is transpiring. The scorpion woman has a lot of secrets. And I see that some of you Virgos are going to be realizing, wow, um, I had no idea that this person was keeping so much um, from me. And I see that this is where you Virgos are going to be deciding, um, you know, I need to have a, a heart to heart talk with this person because it's as if every time something comes up, this person just blare out blares out things and then I realize that this person has a lot of emotional issues to work on and I see some of you Virgos are really going to be um, speaking to this person from a heart center because you really care about this person and you're showing this person that they need to release um, this energy that they're holding within them this emotion and help them you're going to be actually working with this person to help them to release the, the pain that they have been carrying. So um, this is going to be good. So whatever is happening and transpiring, um, be aware that Virgos, your life is going to be changing. Um, in this timeline, your life is really going to be changing. And you're going to be understanding that uh, um, you make uh, changes um, because you want to. And it's as if you Virgos are seeing life and love in a total different eyes um, in this um, timeline. So Virgos, if you're a member of the channel, there's an extended to this reading where it explains to you a lot that is going on. And it will show up all these people and how they're affecting you in whatever relationships that you're in. So um use the blue button you will have to use the blue button in order to receive these love readings look at the list where the love readings comes up and it's going to be exhilarating you and giving you some sort of a um positive energy moving forward because you're going to be changing the frequency of how you look at love so have a wonderful wonderful month Please remember in order, cross watch, cross watch, uh, see who these fire sign people are that is affecting your love life and see um, who this um, um, Pisces Cancer or Scorpion woman, this woman is coming up as a Scorpion woman. Um, go check out her reading to see what is coming up. I do love you guys. Gotta go. Namaste. Mm -hmm.